It's one of the most iconic explosives in human history. Wrapped in a simple red tube with a fuse, it's been featured in everything from mining documentaries to action movies. But what exactly is dynamite? How does it work? And why is it so powerful? This is the real science behind dynamite. How a Swedish scientist turned one of the world's most volatile substances into a controlled, portable, and revolutionary explosive that literally reshaped the modern world. Dynamite was invented in 1867 by Alfred Nobel, a chemist and engineer from Sweden. Yes, the same Nobel who later established the Nobel Prizes. Before his invention, people were already using a powerful but extremely dangerous compound called nitroglycerin. It had enormous explosive power, but it was so sensitive that even a slight bump, shock, or temperature change could trigger a deadly detonation. It killed dozens of workers and even Nobel's own brother. Alfred Nobel's breakthrough came when he discovered a way to stabilize nitroglycerin to make it safer to handle, transport, and use. His solution was remarkably simple yet genius. He mixed liquid nitroglycerin with a porous, absorbent material called diatomaceous earth, a soft, powdery rock made from fossilized algae. The result was a dowie, stable mixture that could be shaped into solid cylinders and wrapped in paper. This invention became known as dynamite. Now, let's look at how it works. Despite its calm appearance, dynamite is built around nitroglycerin, a highly unstable, energy-rich compound. When detonated, nitroglycerin undergoes a violent chemical reaction called detonation, not just combustion. This is different from fire. It's a rapid rearrangement of molecules that occurs almost instantly and produces an enormous shockwave, heat, and gas. Let's break it down. Nitroglycerin's chemical formula is C3H5N309, and it contains nitrogen and oxygen bound in a high-energy, unstable arrangement. When it explodes, the bonds in the molecule shatter, releasing gases like carbon dioxide, nitrogen, water vapor, and oxygen, all in the blink of an eye. This reaction creates huge volumes of hot gas in a tiny space, and that gas expands outward at supersonic speeds. This sudden expansion generates a shock wave, which is the real destructive force of the explosion. It can break rock, collapse buildings, and blast through steel, depending on how and where it's applied. But here's the genius of dynamite. It doesn't go off on its own. You need a detonator, typically a blasting cap, to start the explosion. This small device contains a more sensitive explosive that can be triggered with a fuse, electric current, or remote control. The detonator sets off a small explosion, which is just enough to shock the nitroglycerin inside the dynamite into its full detonation. This two-stage process, a trigger followed by the main explosion, makes dynamite controllable and safe to use when handled properly. And that's why it became so revolutionary. Once dynamite hit the scene in the late 1800s, it changed everything. Construction crews could now blast through mountains to build railroads and tunnels. Miners could reach deeper veins of gold, coal, and iron with far less labor. And armies found new, devastating ways to use it in warfare. It was a double-edged sword, a tool of progress and destruction. Interestingly, dynamite is not the most powerful explosive we have today. Modern industries and militaries now rely more on TNT, RDX, and plastics explosives like C4, which are more stable and can be molded or shaped. But dynamite still has its place, especially in construction, demolition, and mining, where its reliability and simplicity make it a trusted tool. Even today, when used properly, Dynamite is highly effective at breaking large rock formations, demolishing buildings, or clearing pathways for infrastructure projects. But it's tightly regulated. Governments around the world strictly control the production, sale, and use of dynamite because of its destructive potential and risk of misuse. So, the next time you see that classic red stick with a fuse, know this. You're looking at a product of chemistry, geology, and human ingenuity. Dynamite took one of the deadliest substances known to man and turned it into a powerful, useful tool 
that helped shape the world we live in today. From the hands of Alfred Nobel to the mines and mountains of modern industry. That's how dynamite works. And that's the explosive truth. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more.